for waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. When it comes to buying a test kit to test your water parameters, you have a whole bunch of different options. Now I'm not talking about the different parameters that you can test. I'm talking about the different companies that have test kits for an individual test, let's say nitrate. This video is going to look at five different nitrate test kits that are out on the market. I talked to the guys at Saltwater Aquarium and they recommended a couple that are popular sellers as well as a few of the test kits that I have at home. Now, when you look at test kits, there's gonna be a whole bunch of different parts about them that vary. They can vary in price, they can vary in ease of instructions, they can vary in ease of how well you're able to read color change. So I am going to go through and run five different nitrate tests with five different test kits, and I'm going to rank them for you on a number of different factors. So these are the factors that I'm going to be looking at. First off, price. Then I'm going to be looking at how many tests you're gonna get out of each test kit for that price. Then I'm going to look at how easy it is to do the test, how easy it is to read the test. I'm gonna look at how long it takes to do the test. I'm going to look at the shelf life of the test kits, and I'm gonna look at the instructions and how easy those are to read. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the different test kits that I'm gonna be using. Okay, so which test kits am I going to be using? All right, first we're going to be talking about the HANA checker. This is the one for the high nitrate. We're also going to be looking at your standard API. We will be looking at the Red C test kit. Now, this one has both the nitrate and the phosphate. This is the one that came with my Red C tank, but all the prices and the information I've got for the nitrate Red C test kit are just for the nitrate test itself. Then we have a relatively new one to the US market is the ASF test kit. And last but not least, the Salifert test kit. So let's go ahead and go over some of the prices for these. Now, coming up at the tip top of the price range is going to be the HANA checker kit. I've got some notes over here for you. I checked these on saltwateraquarium.com right before I made the video, so they're up to date unless you catch a sale. So this one is $63.95. The API test kit is $13.98. The Red Sea Nitrate Test Kit is $54.99. The ASF Test Kit is $20.29. And lastly, the Salifert Test Kit is $17.37. Now, how many tests are you getting out of each of these test kits? So, Start again with the HANA checker. When you get just this kit itself, you are going to get 10 um, little sachets or reagents to do 10 tests. Now, for an additional price of um, $16, you can get 25 extra little sachets to do more tests. With the API test kit, you are getting 90 tests out of this one. The Red Sea, you're gonna get 100 tests out of this guy. ASF, you are going to be getting 40 tests out of this one. And lastly, you will get approximately 60 tests out of the Salifert. Okay, now I told you how many tests you're gonna get out of each of these and the price for them, but I've gone ahead and done some math for you. So if you were just to look at the cost for the kit, just what it comes with, you are looking at $6.40 per nitrate test with the HANA checker. Now, if you were to go ahead and spend um, that extra money and get those additional tests, you're looking at about $2.28 per test with the HANA checker. Um, moving on to the API, this one is very, very affordable with the 90 tests you're getting out of it. These are only costing you 15 cents per nitrate test. If you're a fish store and you're running a lot of tests, this might be a good option. All right, the Red Sea Nitrate Test. This test kit is a little bit pricier, but you're getting 100 tests out of it, so it's only gonna cost you 54 cents per nitrate test. All right, now this is the ASF Test Kit. Now, these guys, again, 
20 bucks, you're getting 40 tests out of it. So it's going to cost you about 50 cents per nitrate test with the ASF test kit. All right, lastly is the Salifert. Um, again, fairly reasonably priced. You're getting about 60 tests, which makes these uh, about 29 cents per nitrate test. So if you were just buying things um, based on the cost per test, um, Hannah's gonna be the most expensive. The API is going to be the least expensive. It really just depends on your application. If you've got a bunch of tanks at home, which one makes the most sense for you? Now let's talk about shelf life. So shelf life of the Hannah Checker is by far the highest shelf life of all of them so far. This is going to be four years. I suspect it has to do with the fact that the reagents are individual packets for each test, whereas it's not necessarily the case for these other test kits. The API test kit, um, it's about four years shelf life on this guy. The um, Red Sea test, you're going to get a year out of these guys. You're also gonna get a year out of the ASF tests, and you are going to get about two and a half years out of the Salifert. Now, I know for a fact, I've talked to a couple different companies at shows and stuff, one of the reasons that there are low shelf lives on some of these is because once you open those reagents, they start to oxidize and it reduces the efficiency of the test, which is why it's really important if it says um, expires on a certain date, you need to throw those away because you might not be getting accurate results with your test kits. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to how each of these work. I'm gonna go ahead and run a nitrate test on my tank. I'm gonna do the same for each of these test kits and then I'll come back after I've run them and kind of give you what my thoughts are on the ease of instructions, how easy it is to see the results and how long it takes me and how easy it is to read the instructions. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I've gone ahead and run all of these tests and I'll admit I'm surprised some of these companies have changed their test kits since the last time I used them, but let me go ahead and get to the results for each of these. We'll start with time. Now I made some notes as I went along, so bear with me as I reference. Now when I say time, I'm talking about total time that it took to run the test. So starting off the HANA checker take, took me about 10 minutes from start to finish. The API test took seven minutes. The Red Sea took the longest at 12 minutes. The ASF test only took three minutes and the Salifert took about four and a half minutes. Now let's move on to the ease of the test itself. Um, honestly, I have to say the HANA checker and the API were probably the easiest to do. They had the fewest number of steps. Um, the HANA checker, especially, honestly, you put it in the thing and then you've walked away, it sets its own timer and it'll let you know the results at the end of the time. Um, so you can go get a cup of coffee while you wait if you want to. Um, 
when it comes to easy to read the test. Um, again, I would have to say Hannah Checker because it does the reading for you. So if you have a hard time reading colors, or if you're colorblind, if you can't see color change very easily, if you don't have a well-lit area to work in, Hannah Checker might be the best bet for you. Another one of the top ones would be the Red Sea, just because they had that color wheel, it gave you the one for the zero, and then you added your sample and you could pair the two and it made it easy to see the color change. I've already told you the time. Last would be the instructions, and I gotta say, this is the one that surprised me. Um, really, all of these, the instructions were very easy to read and to understand. All of them came with the little um, card that had the photos on it. It gave simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. So long gone are the days of the really small multi-folding pamphlets that have the tiny words that you've got to figure out which language you're in and read the correct instructions. Now, depending on what factor you are looking at, which is most important for you, might vary on what test kit that you want. If you're looking at price point, maybe um, API might be the best test for you. If you're looking at speed, API, again, um, might be a good test for you. If you are looking at not having to read a number, Hannah might be the way to go. Or if you are looking at a fairly affordable test kit, maybe one of the Salifert, the um, ASF, or the Red Sea test might be the test kit for you. Okay, so before you ask, yes, all of my test results were zero. I did have a control that I compared those against, so um, that's where those values came from. If you found this video interesting, if you would like to see me compare some of the other test kits that are out on the market, um, in my mind, phosphate pops up, because sometimes those color changes can be hard to read on those tests. Leave a comment, let me know, send saltwateraquarium.com a message, let them know that you would like to see more videos like this. Okay, I hope this has helped you to figure out which of the nitrate test kits that you would like to use on your tanks. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of Saltwater Aquarium.